Or the wall of your house. I've seen some dudes have them around the house. And get that wire as tight as you can get it. You put something under the, under the string and push it up as high as you can. You get a lot of tension on that string until you get a note, right? Whatever note you get sounds good to you. Yeah. I got a pick that I play. It's big old plastic. Some people use a, use a finger. I do that sometimes too. I don't use a pick on this. And then you got to slide to something. I've seen people use cans, bottles. I got a bottle here. Make a long story very short. There is an old dude down in Florida, from Polk County, Florida, not too far from where I'm from, that uh, used to play blues around Florida. And he used to play down there. He played clubs and stuff, but he played a little local flea market down there. And he wanted to bring his diddly bow down there and flea market to play, you know. But it was on the wall of his house. So what he did, he had a great idea. He made one on his closet door. It's hollow, it, it's, it's very resonant, it's got a lot of sound to it. Unplug it here so you can just hear what the old stuff sounds like. And then, and then if you had a wood floor in here, you know. And you get clean notes. And you get them dirty notes and just barely touch that string with that slide. That's why that's why them rock and roll guys invented uh, distortion pedals because they couldn't do that like the old guys. He knew how to really do it for real. Get that dirty, yeah. So anyway. I'm gonna play a song that I wrote, but this is in the this is in the style of a fellow by the name of Mr. Moses Williams. He's from Polk County, Florida, and there is some old uh, black and white footage that's still alive. That's still he's not alive, but there's that footage of him, and you can check him out. Man. He's playing a good little door, looks about just like this, one string, plays with a whiskey and a little pint bottle. This is the style of what he used to do. I don't want to steal his stuff completely, so I put my own thing to it, but. When I tell you this is Moses Williams, it ain't me. Wait. 